Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel, and today we're finally going to do my Marvel CMF Draft video. Now this video is not going to be realistic at all, I am limiting myself to 12 figures like the new CMF series, although I'm holding out hope that since this is a licensed series, we will get 16 minifigures. Right now I'm going to stick with just 12, and that was incredibly difficult to do, because there are tons of characters I want to see and I'd love to see, and I'm really worried, because well, for this video, I'm only using characters we've never gotten or seen in LEGO form ever ever before, and only using characters we've seen in media, um, either that would that be like a TV show or a movie or an animated movie or something, you'll see characters from like the Defenders and Spider-Verse and stuff. I didn't do any character we've already gotten in LEGO, although I do feel that LEGO will do a lot of comic book versions of the Avengers. I feel like we'll definitely get a Captain America, an Iron Man, maybe a comic Hawkeye, a Thor character, a Spider-Man, uh, some generic run-of-the-mill characters, uh, and some classic villains as well, much like they did with the DC series, and I'm really hoping we don't get that, because I think this would be the perfect opportunity to release some characters that we would never see in LEGO form in other different uh, ways. Before we get started talking about everyone, I just wanted to go over some characters that I thought about and then ultimately decide to cut from the series. First of which being Moon Knight. I was originally going to include him and then I figured, you know what, he's getting a TV show, he'll probably get his own, you know, Lego set, hopefully, at some point, so I'm just going to not include him. Other characters like that were Lady Thor, because she's going to be in Thor Love and Thunder. I was like, let's include her. I was like, you know... Second thought, never mind. Other character was a Beta Ray Bill figure, who isn't very good here because I couldn't have an exclusive mold for him. And I was like, hmm, I'd love for him, but I feel like we're gonna get him when he comes into the MCU. Another character was, uh, we here we have Agent Carter, and I just didn't think she was interesting enough to put in the series. I mean, I liked her, I wish we got gotten her in Lego form, but I think there's better choices. I also have a couple of villains. I was trying to do a lot of villains for this series, and ultimately they just weren't as cool as the heroes, so I ended up cutting out Young Rod. I think we should have definitely gotten him in some of the Captain Marvel sets also ego the living planet uh not a great figure there i'm kind of not proud of him so i ended up cutting him out we have kaecilius from dr strange and all these characters were ones i wanted to include but ended up didn't i also consider people like lady sif uh odin uh, the uh, warriors three a bunch of characters from the mcu that we've never gotten and ultimately, I decided that what I picked were the best choices. So let's start off my dream CNF draft, the characters I would love more than anything to see in LEGO form. Up first, and this guy actually I think is incredibly likely, uh, the man without fear himself, Daredevil. Now, I think there's a very high chance that this character will find himself inside the MCU, or not MCU, excuse me, the Marvel CMF series, simply because he's so popular, and they can do a comic book one and kind of steer away from the R-rated TV show, although I would love a classic maroon red Daredevil like this, and I, I would prefer not the weird looking uh, comic book one that we see in the video games. This guy would be my favorite, but he's definitely slot number one. Spot number two is going to be Jessica Jones, and uh, she's a pretty interesting figure here. Her accessory uh, would be probably a bottle of alcohol, you know, in, in like my dream accessory for her, because that really sums up her character, but I don't think Lego would do that, because I don't think they want to showcase her alcoholic side. I feel like if they were to do this character, which they probably won't, they would do a more comic-accurate outfit here for Jewel, I believe her name was, and probably no accessories, which is why I didn't include it there. I think that's a bit disappointing, but I think she would be a really cool addition, considering she has a whole three-season TV show and was very popular. Popular, but at the same time, I don't think she or the next character has much of a chance. Character number three is Luke Cage, and I forgot to mention, but all three of those characters, Daredevil, Jessica, and Luke Cage, are not official LEGO. I got them from a third-party care uh, retailer who does custom LEGO minifigures, because I wanted my own versions of these characters, and I couldn't quite make good enough ones of my own, uh, so I did want to mention that. Now, this character I don't think has much of a potential for the series, though I would really appreciate it. His TV show wasn't really well-received. I mean, it was decent, Defenders was good, but this was definitely not the best. Daredevil and Punisher were so much more popular, as was Jessica Jones. He's still a great figure though and a very important one in the marvel universe and i would love to see him there now the next character is punisher and we're skipping right over iron fist because there was actually an iron fist minifigure released way back when with one of the i think it was 2012 spider-man sets so i'm skipping over him because he has appeared in lego form before we have the punisher here now this is a character who i also think is very likely for this uh MC, uh, Marvel, you know, collectible minifigure series, because I don't think they're ever going to put him in a set, because he's so violent and so gory, I think they could get away with, like, a comic book Punisher in a collectible minifigure series, but as a standalone set, or a figure in a set, I think this guy is a little too violent and gory, and this character is also from a third-party retailer, definitely one of my favorites, though, and I think right now, him and Daredevil, along with all those comic characters I mentioned from the Avengers, are some incredibly likely characters for the actual series. The next character is going to be my first 100% custom minifigure, that's going to be Electra Nachios. I think that she is likely, 
although not incredibly probable for the Marvel CMS series, because Again, I don't know if she has the right popularity or right vibe for that. I do think it'd be really cool to get, like, a custom hair piece for her and everything. Uh, this uses, uh, her pieces right here are pretty much just Ninjago. I used Nia's, uh, body and legs for her. And I think she'd go well if Daredevil was in the series. Pairing the two of them off, like, as a little set would work really, really nice. Although, honestly, I don't think she has as much potential as some other characters that appear in this series. Alright, our next character, character number six, is our first and uh, last of several things. Our first villain. Also, I believe our last villain, because I really couldn't uh, put him Wilson Fisk, anyone. Um, this is actually Lex Luthor, but I'm just calling him Wilson Fisk because the suit and the bald, stern man face. I ideally lego would give a brand new body for this guy i think the haggard mold would do wonders for his massive physique just re rebrand that in black with a suit and everything and we could get a really good wilson fisk there because he is supposed to be larger than life in both the movies and the comics i guess this character also works well for the spider-verse move uh he could be like a spider-verse figure because we did get a couple of them uh we did get like a bunch of spider-verse characters and but no uh no wilson fisk he would be a very good character to include i think to work with daredevil I think he is a little more likely than Elektra, simply because I think they, I, I think for this series, they're going to do a lot of hero-villain pair-offs, like, here's some heroes, here's a villain to oppose them, so I think, like, we could Daredevil, Punisher, Kingpin, I think those three would be a really good choice for those three characters from the Defenders universe, I think they work really well together, and definitely, we definitely need a brand new body mold, or just a reuse of the Haggard mold for Wilson Fisk. Since the last character was a combination of uh, Defenders and Spider-Verse, our next character is going to be Penny Parker from Spider-Verse. I don't know why we've never gotten her. We have literally every other Spider-Man variant you could think of. There's, like, tons of them, and just no Penny Parker. Uh, so I think it's definitely a problem on LEGO's fault, and they definitely should include her in the CMF series. I don't think she's going to be included, because I don't really think they're going to do any Fantastic Four, X-Men, or Spider-Man characters. I think they're going to stick to, like, you know, Avengers and, like, stuff that's appeared in, like, movies and televisions from Disney and everything, simply because they haven't done much, uh, much else for the Lego, and the, the comic book Spider-Man line seems to be doing incredibly well, and those get sets constantly, so I think they're gonna save any exclusive Spider-Man characters for their Spider-Man line, although I would really love to see her here, because I think she'd be a great character. Accessory-wise, I'd love to give her her giant spider robot, but I think she'd just be holding a red spider or something instead. Alright, and the next five characters are all going to be either from the MCU or from MCU-adjacent TV shows, and there are a couple of really, really cool ones here. Uh, the next character, Quake, aka Daisy Johnson, aka the Destroyer of Worlds, would be amazing to have in this CMF series. I love Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., and she was by far one of the most powerful and best characters in that show. She would do so well uh, against all the Avengers and everything. I think she'd be a great choice because Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is over. It'd be great to get her because uh, we already got a Coulson minifigure way back in that uh, set with the Ultimate Iron Man suit. And I think she'd be a really, really good choice to include here because a lot of people would recognize her from both the comics and the TV show. And at, since Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. just had that huge like season finale show over i think this would be a good way to recognize that and she's a really good character regardless i think a lot of people would be happy to have her and it'd be nice to get some love for some other tv shows like the one you'll see next you can't have one without the other so here is cloak and dagger tyron and tandy they would make a great inclusion to the series because i loved cloak and dagger such a great show such great characters and they're also classic, classic comic book characters, too. Uh, I think it'd be really, really cool to get, you know, a nice new cloak piece or maybe, like, a reuse of the invisibility cloak piece or something for uh, Dag uh, for Cloak over there and Dagger. She would have some really cool uh, spears of light. Not sure exactly what they'd use for her. I'm using the Translucent Basilisk Fangs from 2002 right now, but I don't think they'd bring those pieces back for that character. But I would love to see both these characters here. I don't think it's very likely because that show did end a while ago and I don't really hear many people talking about them, but it would be a really nice dream of mine to have those two characters here. All right, the final two characters are directly from the MCU, two of my favorite characters from their respective movies, and it's shocking that we've never got them in Lego form. One is a custom minifigure and one is uh, another one of those third-party minifigures. Up first, we have M'Baku, someone I hope we'll get with the Black Panther 2 sets, but if not, I think it'd be a great choice to toss into the CMF series. I think it'd be really, really cool if this series was like an MCU filler, where we got like a one figure from every like MCU movie. Obviously not, that'd be too many, but like maybe one from like an Iron Man, the Iron Man trilogy, one from like the uh, Captain America trilogy, one from Black Panther, one from like an Avengers movie, like just a couple characters we've never gotten in Lego form that are missing from the overall MCU to like complete them. Heroes like... Mbaku here, or maybe villains like Ego or something. I think that'd be such a cool idea. I don't think they're going to do that, though, because I don't think 
the characters would be popular enough to the general public to uh, warrant that, but M'Baku here would be a dream character of mine, and I would love to have him in LEGO form. And the final character in the series is going to be Scourge, and I'm very surprised we never got him any Thor Ragnarok sets, because he was a pretty big part of that movie, especially the season finale there. Uh, season finale, um, obviously the uh, climax of the movie, the end of the movie and everything. Uh, he's a really cool looking figure, and I would love to get him. Again, I only think he would happen if they did like a revisiting the MCU uh, CMS series, which I think is very, very unlikely. Alright, and here's the whole series lined up, and... Honestly, I don't think many of these characters, other than Daredevil there, uh, probably the Punisher, possibly Cloak and Dagger, um, not, probably not really, definitely like Wilson Fisk and Penny Parker, I think those are like the most likely out of all of these, and I really don't think many of them are going to get made, which is very, very unfortunate, because I think this would be a great CMF lineup. Now, I know there's definitely way too much love for the Defenders here, and way too much, like, it, it's, it's so heavily weighted, and for a series with only 12 characters, I don't think they would do more than two from the entire Defenders universe, so I, I probably think that you two, definitely you, are not going to happen. It's like a toss-up between these three. I don't think they're going to do any characters from the MCU. Honestly, I, I can't really see them doing MCU characters because they start, they'd probably do the whole series MCU, and I don't think that's a thing that like would want to do for their CMF series. I don't think Cloak and Dagger are very likely. I also doubt we're doing any Spider-Man characters other than like one Spider-Man figure from like you know, a comic book or something, because Spider-Man's getting a lot of love, but I think they're going to save all the minor Spider-Man characters and villains and everything for their own uh, Spider-Man sets, and I don't think Daisy Johnson's very likely. Honestly, I think the only characters from this uh, dream series of mine would be these three. I can definitely see them doing a lot of comic book characters, definitely the main Avengers. I think we're going to get all of those. Probably a cool Nick Fury character, maybe a white Nick Fury from the um, original line of comic books. That'd be interesting. But there's probably a bunch of those. Uh, I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below with what characters you think are going to be in this uh, MCU, I keep wanting to say MCU, I'm sorry, of this Marvel CNF draft. Uh, if you have any ideas, let me know in the comments down below. If you liked my picks, I'd, I'd love to hear it. And if you want to take a closer look at any of these characters or any other custom Marvel characters, let me know in the comments down below and I'll maybe start up that uh, custom minifigure Wednesday again. I know it's been a couple months since I've updated that series, honestly. And yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. Let's have a cool discussion, talk about like a list, put together like an official one. And then when the series comes out in August, I'll revisit this video, take a look at the comments, and we can do another discussion talking about either how right or how wrong we were. That's all I got for you guys today, though. So thank you so, so much for watching. I'll see you all in the very next video. And we'll talk to a fantastic and safe rest of your day.